Hey guys, here you see me going with a Korean Zombie at his gym in Korea, in Seoul. Dragging his hip back here and using balance and control, not power, not my size. Hey guys, look I where I have his balance here. point like a teeter totter. And I made it basically chest compression instead of a neck crank, so it was head sideways. That all drops on pro fighters here, pank race fighters and whatnot. Go to and subscribe to my YouTube page. I believe the same thing here on uh, Pro me. Fighter. It was a good time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep. Thank you for um, helping me. Be sure to subscribe to this guy's uh, channel, Dan the Wolfman. If you respect the game, man. You know the game. You know what you're talking about. And uh, yeah, uh, he's pretty credible. Well, thank you, sir. Hey guys, here you see me going with uh, Korean Zombie at his gym in Korea, in Seoul. Dragging his hip back here and using balance and control, not power, not my size. But look where I have his balance point like a teeter totter and um, I made it basically a chest compression instead of a neck crank, so his head sideways. That all drops on pro fighters here, pank race fighters and whatnot. I believe the same thing here on uh, a pro fighter at Korean top team. Yep, another lateral drop. Mm, feeling like maybe an Osoto is coming up, something like that. Yep, Sotogari. And no, uh, when I do it, I usually don't really slam people. It's not a competition, guys. Start to put the back adjustment on him there. Uh, Osoto on a young boy at Kerbaka. Tree top, single finish here. There's a pro fighter, pancreas fighter. Some Aki. Nikia. And watch his head twist. You can barely see it behind him. There's a head twist turn around on the cage wall. Look at my anti cage takedowns there. Coincidentally, Kei on the was showing about head position, head control there, which is cool. He's a good wrestler. <clears throat> What's up, leg trip? What's up, Gaki? Yep. Imanari will turn into a knee bar, as you see here. Grabaka, by the way, if I didn't see that yet. And having some fun with the young boy here. Watch this. Fake rampage slam to spin around knee bar. Wonder if he could do that in competition. Probably would have gotten away with that without being DQ. Now Kota Gaze, the 10 figure guillotine here on the young boy. Sprawling out, and I think I go to a reverse toll here, or knee bar, let's see. I'm going to go to a knee bar. Yep, spin around knee bar. Is this crab or octopus guard? What do they call this? I think it's octopus guard. I don't know. Crab guard. Double grapevine guard me is actually what I was doing with the legs. And I uh, hit a calf slicer there. Kind of what I'm going for here with Kaz. He's got 15 pro MMA fights, pancreas and whatnot. Kind of funking out to the back here, but keeping my leg as a bar or fulcrum between his calf and hamstring. Gonna use that bar now as I hit breaks becomes a toe hold. Toe pull, toe hold, calf slicer combination there. He's going for the Ashigrami. Doing the boo, trying to stop my heel from being exposed. I just kick out, but now I'm still in there. Weird positioning. Pretty interesting transition going on here. Trying to knee side through, but I want to trap that leg that's got, still in there. Securing a half guard. And. Oh, grabbing the back. That means it's going to be a magic toolless hole, toe hold. 
as your grandma's still hold. Which I learned from one of my wonderful senseis, Goku Shivichi. Looks like a reverse toe hold there. Um, again, these are in pros. Um, my God, I can't think of his name right now. This guy's actually a very good leg locker. And I'm playing some leg lock games here. Going with the knee bar, he spins around his counters. Boom, I have to be able to He's had ton of, tons of fights. Tilt a whirl. And then I don't know the guy's rank because I want to heal from here, but I'm like, okay, I'll bite my elbow down and go for an ankle lock. And yeah, I got an ankle lock there. Full fighter at Kabaka. Two of the knee bar, two of the four entries, main entries. Look at my four main entries knee bar video, guys. Looks like he was going for a knee bar. I counter, I grab him, lock his leg and hip. Going for a spin around knee bar, and oh yeah, please turn it in. I'm waiting for it. Bam! Because it's all about the angle of the knee. It's something that you take, needs a lot of feel and experience for this reverse knee bar. Oh, he's still don't get him. He's tough, he's a pro, he's in pain. It's like, no, he's adjusting, I got to adjust. And I get him, the reverse knee bar. Uh, as I said in the earlier videos, this guy, he only tries to jump into a guillotine. And uh, counter with the reverse knee bar, I do that a lot of times, actually. Here at Phuket Top Team in Thailand, he countering these Rolling toe hold attempt with a reverse knee bar. I thought that was a pretty cool improvisation. At uh, AKA Thailand here, hitting a reverse knee bar and a uh, Russian guy that was very friendly. I like working with him. Uh, I believe this is Nishimura. Oh, I should have looked it up first. Sorry for messing up. He felt fuck. Oops. Was that a Spinorini guard pass before John Wick 2? Yeah, long before John Wick 2, my highlight videos. Spin a Rooney, and then the cartwheel guard pass. End up in half guard. That means what's coming up? Oh, you hipped in. Thank you, brother, for exposing your leg. You will touch your jitsu. Turn in, hip in. Thank you. That always means luck, luck. Baby. So, you know, now we got the guys doing the uh, Donahue bottom game, specializing in leg locks. And he talked about that on Rogan's podcast. It was a stockade on the young boy. And I got a gift wrap. Anyway, I think I'm kind of the guy who specialized in top game luck, like staying in top. Not just the old, like down here, talk about just bailing, just nothing's working, and jumping on a leg lock. Um, but, but really controlling and going to the legs. And a lot of my leg locks, I have video teaching five leg locks when you stay on top. Like eight entries into a hip lock. And manipulating his spine there. This is, I think, just a, you know, everyday guy over at the hearts. Guys, I don't hurt people. I don't use muscular contraction. <laughs> I am really strong. People think I'm strong. I just use body mechanics and body weight if they're over 170. But I, ew, oh, oh, what is that? What is that? A double gift wrap backbreaker? Yeah, double gift wrap backbreaker. I've never seen it before. Here's a pro at, uh, what is this name? There's a tap gym in Korea. Has to come to a uh, private there. Or a seminar, I mean. Nice guy. I got a feeling he may be fought in the UFC last week. Oh, Mer arm lock. Ben Udi Grammy. One of Frank Murr's first submissions in the UFC that was. This guy. No. I'm thinking he was a brown belt. Maybe he was a purple belt. I don't know. What's the difference? That's a body. But you know he's, he was skilled. He was good. Big. Uh, sweep in there. I think old school sweep there. And now, I can't tell what leg I'm getting. I don't know if that was a toe pull that I made up on the near leg or on the far leg or reverse toe pull on the far leg. Usually 10 finger, but I think I did a prayer guillotine here. 
I don't know if I got him. I don't know if I actually got him. Yeah, maybe he's dead. Yeah, so I got him with a prayer of view. Three powers just gets him there. Um, the plot I don't mind here. It's hard to tell, but I don't mind him. Had a pretty good bridge there, and bam, I step over the head, counter with the armpit, armbar. It's very much Ronda Rousey versus Kazangano. It's, I, I think of that as fighting as he lot as FMA. Look at the timing into that. And the noobs are going, oh my god, did Dave just give up his back? Uh, I did that on purpose. I did that on purpose. That's a funk roll escape. Look who taps here. To the thigh master. Suzanne Summers. I called it the thigh master, and then other people started calling it the Suzanne Summers because they were English and liked my videos. He's told me that, and I think he taught it at one of his students. There's a famous grappler who taught it as the Suzanne Summers. Boss Ruin, of course, gets credit, so I call it the Boss Crusher a lot. I think I just went with a good old fashioned bulldog square choke there. There's some sensitivity going on here. And toe holding that young belly. Foot by my hip. Slap super high mount to the Chujinagi pretzel twist. You see it. You see it in movies. You see, see Steven Seagal doing it. You see when Chun Jae King, you guys, probably Bruce Lee in a movie. Probably did that one. Went across the center line. I crossed the center line for him, tie the belt, twist their elbows until it breaks, and if they manage to like get their elbows so I can't quite lock them, you switch to the Jujikatami arm bars. You've seen other videos, other highlight videos. So I'm in a low mount. Am I grapevine? I think I'm grapevine on the ankles. Yeah, grapevine, and I hop all the way up to super high mount. He tries. You gotta be careful. So you gotta be aware of that and block their feet with their elbows. So then put the feet in the armpits, and I'm hitting that juju knock there. And uh, yet again, I think this is a purple bow from Argentina or something, South American country. I was coaching at uh, Super Poisonui in uh, Koisonui. Beautiful island. Beautiful back. I call that pretzel twist. I taught some of the guys that last night. Uh, looks like this is for a UFC fighter Tanaka now. Not the one fighter Tanaka, although from the previous highlight video. I think it was Tanaka, and I'm not even sure. So here, uh, yeah, it goes on for quite a while. I'm trying to pass. I'm trying to pass, and I'm trying to keep with my head in good position and not screw up like everybody does with their head too high. So I can keep that if I eventually pass. And that's what you're seeing here. And no, haters, I'm not squeezing to death with power. I'm using good mechanics. Taking my time. Soft touch sensitivity. Finally pass that half guard. And start to get the katakatami head and arm choke. Arm track. He's defending well. Trying to adjust. I don't know if he tapped or if the round ended. Sorry, I don't know. The round might have ended right before he tapped, or maybe he tapped right as the round ended. Not really sure. Um, so, so hip heisting out. And check this out. Outside cradle. Gee, why would Dan want an outside cradle guy? For the one, two, three pin, you fools. Maybe I have something more sadistic in mind. Yeah, maybe I have something more sadistic in mind. could that be? Watch my left leg. Nope. Oh, why do I want to do that? Watch where my elbow goes. Watch how his body twists like an accordion. As his hip is about to dislocate. Hip lock. So using wrestling, which I created all the hip lock that I made up. I made up these entries in the hip locks. 
There's another entry in the head block. He's in the electric chair suite. Eventually, Tenth Planet started calling that stoner control. I think after my lockdown video. Not positive on that, but. I may have played a few submissions from here. Down with that hip lock. Just slow adjustments. Not the most dynamic submission. Oh, there you go. Tap them out the hip lock right there. Now, um, this is 50 50 drawing. I'm like, I need to draw in 50 50. I don't like 50 50, really. Like, I need to do some drilling on 50-50. I got a five lug locks you don't know from 50-50 video. Really good stuff. Oh, and there's a corkscrew lock. Which is essentially a cool tool. All right. Look where my arm positioning is with the outside arm. Before DDS was really going going, before people like Craig Jones did some of the stuff you'll see me do, um, or variations of it, I think it was pretty, pretty ahead of the leg lock game. Actually, it was leg locking people back in 98, 99. Training with Pat Grace and Shooto Fighters, training officially in Shooto classes, training a couple days with the Lug Tuktaro, picking up everything and anything I could. And that's the way to do it, guys. Uh, if you're a noob, if you're a white belt, don't do some of the locks that I'm doing, guys. Some some locks are, you know, kind of more dangerous than others. There was a calf crunch there. But it's technical. You don't think it's technical. I didn't just squeeze in the beginning when I didn't have my positioning appropriate, which obviously I could. I could crush a lot of people. <laughs> um, I barely, very, I, I, I hold hard like a grip strength, but I don't like flex and squeeze stuff near as much as people think. Okay, so look at me wrapping up his ankle, his far ankle, and look, I'm going to the wrong side, right? I don't got no two-on-one, or do I? Is there a two-on-one? Yes, I call it the gravity ankle lock. Where's the two-on-one? My fat ass and the ground. Neither of which are moving. That's a two-on-one. My whole body, my hips, weight, body weight, gravity, and the ground. So, guys, there you have it. Thank you for joining me. And that's basically MMA what Craig Jones just uh, won with, but he kind of had an inside butterfly to, book, uh, to do it, which and, is probably better uh, for the guys, butterfly and I will like, catch you on metagame. The but um, basically, it's a gravity. You know, I, don't, I don't know if we've really yeah, seen it before that uh, Jones won. Other than, of course, right there, there's video I got. Uh, years ago in Japan. And uh, guys, let's just finish up with some funk roll highlights. Hope you enjoyed it. Please thumbs up, please subscribe, all that good stuff. Hope you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, some funky music to go with the funk. Uh oh. Got a lasso, was last gonna choke me out? No. I mean, I ain't doing it in Marcelo Garcia. Most people. Feet on the ground, pull him. Boom, get to my knees, collect your base. Me teaching. Head up to the sky. Okay? UFC Since middleweight champion Robert Whitaker and his knees. I'm gonna go into a couple a days. Hole. So I'm gonna take this lead. Come here, roll back really fast, keep my chest on him so he doesn't get my back and choke me around. Particularly showing submissions in top half. Here, I gotta go fast. And then uh, some sparring left, stuff and how to bounce the guy off the cage here, with the chain pop single knees, leg and some and other compression. stuff. Okay, five after a boss route. Now, he's a wrestler. I build my base, bring my knees, and I'm gonna lift him. Now, wherever I end up clearing, there's different ways. Depends where we are every time. 
I might throw this over. I'm in here. Instead of going, if I don't grab that, uh oh, I could still like thump 